The 10 cutest baby farm animals on the planet. Visiting a real life farm is one of the coolest things you can do. Whether you're visiting a relative's farm or are visiting on a field trip, there are lots of things to see and do. Farms usually have lots of animals to see. In the spring, many baby animals are born. These are some of the cutest creatures on the planet. Here is a list of the 10 cutest baby animals that will melt your heart. In fact, these are some of the cutest babies I've ever seen on the planet. Let's begin. Number 10. To start, we want to talk about baby ducks. They are technically called ducklings. After baby ducks are born, they are led by their mothers half a mile or more to find an appropriate place for feeding and swimming. This is an extremely far walk for a baby duckling. After the baby duckling is dry after hatching, it can start swimming. This is why you may see a mother duck swimming with a trail of baby ducklings behind her. However, they still cannot swim very well. They may struggle to keep up with their mother and siblings. When they are born, baby ducks do not have feathers. They have a fuzz-like covering, which makes them so photogenic. After they get older, they develop feathers and lose that fuzzy look. Because of this, try to see these baby ducks right after they are born. Be sure to get a great picture. Number nine. Next, they're baby piglets. Baby piglets are little pigs. When they are born, they have a pink color. They also have lighter skin compared to their mothers. As they age, their skin color tends to get darker and more like their parents. Mothers give birth to baby piglets about twice per year. They often give birth to 12 piglets at a time. Baby pigs are known for their curiosity. They love sniffing around and exploring their environment. They aren't afraid to get dirty and love playing in the mud. Finally, one of the most interesting things about baby pigs is that they can have their own baby piglets very early. In fact, they can do it when they are only six months old. Number eight. From baby piglets, they are baby lambs. Both baby and adult lambs are known for their famous white fleece. When baby lambs are born, they weigh about five to eight pounds. These baby lambs are also born with tails, but they lose their tails as they get older. After the baby lamb is born, it is fed and cared for by its mother. It takes about two or three months for baby lambs to consume food other than its mother's milk. In sum, baby lambs are extremely cute and photogenic. Be on the lookout for them when visiting your local farm. Number seven. Next, there are baby chicks. I'm sure you've seen baby chicks before. They are little chickens that have a bright yellow color. Baby chicks are born after their mother sits on her eggs for three weeks. When they hatch, baby chicks are wet and covered in the remains from their egg. It starts taking on its bright yellow color when it dries itself off. Baby chicks are born without teeth. While this may seem like a problem, they learn to eat by experimenting. Number six. Now, let's talk about baby pygmy goats. These animals are adorable. They have their famous black and white color that they later have as adults. Baby pygmy goats typically feed on many different foods, including corn, grains, and grasses. In the earliest days, they feed on milk. Baby pygmy goats love to play. They're extremely active, whether they are playing by themselves or members of their family. You may be lucky to see them playing when you visit your local farm. Number five. <laughs> Baby cows called calves are very heavy when they are born. In fact, they weigh around 60 to 100 pounds. That's a heavy baby. Even more impressive is that one hour after they are born, baby cows can stand, walk, and even nurse. Having said this, baby cows need to stay by their mothers for at least two days. They need to do so to get the milk they need to survive. One of the coolest facts about baby cows is that their friends and family celebrate when they are born. The grown-up cows gather around the baby cows to keep them safe and warm. Number four. <coughs> Finally, baby foals are very cute. The foal is the actual name for a baby horse. 
Many foals are born at night and away from danger. Often, mothers give birth to a single foal, but twins are possible. When baby foals are born, their legs are basically the same length as they will be when they are fully grown. However, it takes about one or two months for a baby foal to stand up and walk. They will feed on their mother's milk for several months. Number three. This baby donkey is probably one of the cutest things you'll ever see. Baby donkeys are called foals or colt. Foals weigh between 19 and 30 pounds at birth and can stand 30 minutes after they are born. The donkey is a member of the horse family. A female donkey is called a Jenny or a Janet. A male donkey is called a Jack. Donkeys have a reputation for being stubborn. They are more cautious than horses. If a situation seems unsafe, they dig in their heels and won't move. Number two. This little face will melt your heart. Kittens are totally dependent on their mother for survival. All kittens are born with blue eyes. At birth, kittens' eyes are shut and they do not open until after seven to 10 days. After about two weeks, kittens quickly develop and begin to explore the world around them. A kitten's sense of hearing and smell is one of the best on the planet. Number one. We saved the best for last. Drum roll, please. It's the baby bunny, OMG, adorable. The rabbits are called kits. When baby bunnies are first born, they are small in size and they do not have hair and their eyes are closed. They drink milk from their mother bunny. After a couple weeks, their fur has come in and their eyes have opened. Around the third week, you will see the babies getting more active and hopping around. Here are some fun farm activities to do at home. This has been the 10 cutest farm animals on the planet, written by The Adventures of Scuba Jack. Please subscribe to my YouTube page for more fun videos. Scuba Jack. Come on everybody and follow me. From the beach to the cold or in the it's time for learning, it's time for fun It's a great adventure for everyone Come on everybody and follow me Jump and swim out to the bottom of the sea It's time for adventure, fun and learning Scuba Jack It's a shark attack! Yay! Hey everybody, it's Miss Beth from the Adventures of Scuba Jack I want you to subscribe here I want you to give us two thumbs up or likes, and I want you to comment in the comment section. See you soon.